I never really OD'd on the pills, but when I switched over to heroin. He OD'd about 10 times. One UK graduate who would like to remain anonymous didn't expect to find himself hooked on heroin after a football injury his freshman year at UK. Yeah, I broke my neck playing football, and they put me on a lot of painkillers, um, which is what started the whole thing. You know, I never, I never did drugs. First, it was pain pills. Then, he needed something cheaper, heroin. With the uh, more heroin that's coming in the city, we've seen a dramatic increase in overdose cases. According to the fire department paramedic officials, heroin overdose cases range from homeless to high school. We had to have more runs, which equates to using our equipment more, which means it gets used more, which means we have to repair it more. Officials say they're seeing overdose cases daily. And with Narcan at $38 a pop, heroin, an inexpensive opiate, is becoming expensive for local taxpayers. Heroin is becoming so cheap. Some of you even our, our chronic alcoholics are using heroin because it's cheaper than the alcohol. With 10 to 20 inmates going through withdrawal daily, Officer Ballard hopes that the drug Vivitrol will help keep addicts sober. We've just got a grant from the Department of Corrections to deal with heroin addiction, and we're going to have a medically assisted treatment program using Vivitrol. Also known as naltrexone, the drug blocks brain receptors that make you crave an opiate. It's like a demon inside you that you just got to keep, you got to keep fighting it. After detoxing in jail, he was court ordered into treatment. The UK grad says he's been sober since November and plans to keep it that way.